How's it going guys? Bungie earlier today released what I assume is their final trailer for Black Armory and this is the weapons trailer. Here, check it out. What we offer, Guardian, is privilege. Today, it would seem our doors are open to you. Welcome to the Black Armory. One of our finest. You're unstoppable! Sleek and sturdy. A fine choice. That one will last you. you're looking for. I mean, there's not much I can say about the actual content for the DLC because it hasn't arrived yet. But what I can say is, wow, the weapons are amazing. They look absolutely stunning from the sniper rifle to the hand cannon to the grenade launcher to the shotgun every single one including the scout rifle looks absolutely amazing and the exotic weapons stand out from a mile away they do look absolutely amazing and i can't wait to get my hands on them with that said let's have a look at the sniper the sniper is absolutely bewilderingly brilliant the fact that it can crunch four bullets into one and give you the power of pretty much a mini nuke it can one shot pretty much any guardian out there it's amazing and hopefully it's going to be a nice game changer when it comes to the crucible and also gambit because god am i sick and tired of seeing fusion rifles in gambit at least if i get killed by a sniper i know he's got some skill but this sniper looks absolutely amazing and i can't wait to get my hands on it and finally start to learn some sniping skills next we have the legendary scout rifle and this looks like a high impact slow firing scout rifle with explosive rounds it looks tasty it may actually bring scouts back in line and hopefully with this scouts get a little buff and a bit more love in both pve and pvp it looks pretty good and i can't wait to get my hands on it to give it a whirl i'm not saying it's going to be a great scout rifle but it may just be enough to put scouts back on the market hopefully the black armory delivers when it comes to scout rifle La Monarch the bow looks like it's boasting dragonfly with an increased explosive perk on headshots which looks amazing it looks like it's got a chain reaction and it looks pretty damn cool it's actually the first bow in destiny 2 that's actually got me excited to play bow so hopefully it lives up to what we're seeing here and it will actually be fun to use Hammerhead seems to be your typical heavy machine gun and if you miss the Thunderlord, this is your second chance now to get another heavy machine gun for your arsenal. If you did get the Thunderlord, well this is now your chance to add to your arsenal. The Joe Tune, a legendary fusion rifle, looks absolutely amazing. It's like your Mega Man all over again, running around and firing laser beams from your hand. It's gonna be awesome. The Kindled Orchid looks cool, it looks like a bad news reskin, but it looks like it's got a bit of firefly on there and with a bit of luck if it's got outlaw, it could very well be the Fatebringer we've been waiting for all this time. It does look 
good and I really am looking forward to this weapon. The shotgun threat level seems to increase its RPM the more kills you get, much like the breakneck, so hopefully this is something of a nice perk and could actually be very devastating come the crucible. It also could have some really nice intrinsic PvE perks because this could very well be the Icolos replacement. Next we have the Anarchy, the grenade launcher, basically the Colony 2.0 which looks like to be the trolliest weapon of them all. It also looks to be the funnest weapon of them all. It does seem to have a steep learning and a steep skill level requirement, especially with the placement of the mines. However, once mastered, this weapon will be an absolute troll and a beauty to play with. Finally, Bungie decides to unveil the final exotic that was hidden previously, the last word in all its glory. I don't know if this is going to be as good as its Destiny 1 counterpart, but if it is, this weapon is about to be a game changer and will be a perfect meta and counter for shotguns, I can tell you that now. Hip firing this weapon will be absolutely amazing and the range on this thing is just awe inspiring. And that's pretty much all there is for this video in terms of weapons and coverage. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Looking to get at least 20 thumbs up in this video. So if you do enjoy this video, leave that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And until the next video, remain legend.